Hello, it's Gamer2020, and today we're going to talk about some possible video options for my Ultimate GameCube build. Um, there's a few things out there that we can do. The GameCube, uh, having come out in, what was it, like 2003 or whatever, um, didn't really have HDMI at the time, right? You had, um, you had a regular, um... You have, like, component and composite or whatever. So, uh, obviously, using a modern technology, you kind of want HDMI on there. So, over the years, there's been a few options that have come out. And I have a few of them here to consider, right? Because I, I even at the time of this recording, I am not sure which option I want to use. So, one of the more easier methods, which most people might opt to, especially if they don't want to take apart their GameCube, would be something like this where it's kind of a plug-and-play solution. There's others, like the Eon, or whatever. Um, this one I like because you're easily able to update the firmware on it um, because you can plug it in via USB. And then it also has like a little remote for the, um, for the options. And the reason is because most internal mods will wire up to the controller um, presses, I believe, and you can just change the menu that way. But... Because this one's a plug-and-play, you need a remote to kind of change the settings, right? So there's that, and this one will um, this one will connect to the digital AV port. Um, yeah. So like, while I like this, it's external, right? So you got to carry it around, and it, I don't know. It feels like like it wouldn't look good coming out of the back of the GameCube, but I do like it as an option. I just don't like it for me. Um, it's something nice that I want to keep on hand, maybe, if I need to test some game cubes or something, but for, like, personal use, I don't know. I, it's not for me. Um, and the, and part of the reason with that is because there's also this other popular thing that has come out. It's this M Classic Upscaler. Now, obviously, I haven't tried this yet, um, myself, because you can see it's still in the packaging. Um, but quite honestly, I've heard good things about it. Uh, people say it really helps to upscale the video, you know. So it's something we want to consider using, right? We want the option to use it. So imagine having these two things connected out the back of a GameCube, right? It wouldn't look good. It wouldn't um, be optimal. And you got to carry two things around, right? Um, so that's just something that, I don't know, I kind of, I would prefer an internal HDMI mod. Like, that, that part I've decided I want to use something internal. So, um, the more popular option these days for internal modding is the GC Dual board by, uh, I forget the name, Black Dog or whatever. Or is it, um, oh, I know Black Dog would sell them, right? It says Citrus 2000 on it too, though, so I'm not even sure, um, who makes it, but I think I bought this one from either uh, directly from Black Dog. They don't sell it anymore, but you can get them on Castlemania, I believe. And they're also um, open source now. Um, so you should there should be different options for getting them. Now, the thing with this, it's internal, right? Um, so I'd have to do the soldering and stuff. Now, any soldering for these, I'm not going to show on camera just because it'll take a while, and I want to make sure I do it right. Um, and also, I may not be able to test it right away until I put everything together. And also, I don't want people to use this as a tutorial, right? So I don't want to, like, mess something up and have other people copy what I do. So I'll do that off camera for these. But, so while this is the more popular one, there's one issue for me with this. And it's that it's mini HDMI, I believe. Yeah, that looks like mini HDMI. So, which is fine, you know, you can get a special cable for that, or an adapter or something. But, remember I said, I want to try to be able to use the M Classic. So that means I have to have some type of adapter, and then use this, right? On top of having the cable and everything. So, that for me, kind of, um, I don't know why this ribbon cable was just not put in here. It feels like it, I feel like it would fit, maybe, so it doesn't get messed up, I don't know. But... That, for me, is not, like, ideal, but I still kind of want to use this. It's just, unfortunately, the mini HDMI port 
I don't know if there's a way to get a regular HDMI on it because it just looks like it's a little breakout board. Um, like to just get the regular HDMI. I don't know. Um, maybe it's something to look into. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm at on that. Oh, these are like the screws that come with it. Now, there's a, another option which we've had for years, and it's um, I'm sure there's plenty of GPUs out there that have had this, and this is also readily available, just not as popular for whatever reason. It is the Pluto boards, and um, I guess you can't really see it that well because of the plastic. There's the um, yeah, but the uh, these Pluto um, boards have been quite popular. You flash GC video; they even sell them with GC video on there, and you solder them in. It's quite an extensive install, and for this one, you actually have to do a bit of cutting on the um, the heat sink type. Well, I don't know if it's a heat sink, but it's like the metal inside of the uh, the GameCube, right? So it's a bit of work to install them, but um, it's an internal HDMI mod, right? Um, another downside is this replaces the um, digital AV port as opposed to this, which is actually um, you add a port, right? So you actually have all the ports still available. If you wanted to use a component cable for a reason, you still have access to it. You just have to cut in the back of the shell. You have to cut a slot for the HDMI mini HDMI um, connector, All right? So either way, there's some modifications, but this one is a lot more because you're actually cutting metal. Um, my old GameCube actually has it, and it works well. But the benefit of using this is it's a normal HDMI port, so you can just plug in a regular HDMI cable. And in my case, I should be able to just plug in the M Classic directly into the back. So that might be my option there, um, but I'm not decided. I'm not 100% on it, right? Um, I do have my old GameCube um, that has this installed already. So what I might do is I might pull out the board from that and possibly figure out how to update the firmware. I do have, there's a firmware updater thing you can get when you buy these. And I did purchase it when I purchased this one. So I think my goal uh, might be to try to update that one as I'm deciding and kind of look and see how they both feel. So I may still install this one on a GameCube um, and have both options because I, I do have multiple GameCubes, so that might be somewhere to go. Um, but yeah, that's um, those are my options there. I'm really leaning towards the Pluto. There's no downside to it other than the installation, which for me, like I said, I already have my old GameCube that has it, so it's just figuring out how to up update it, right? Um, so that shouldn't be too bad. And also, that's another thing, too. So for this one, it's kind of an annoying process, I guess, to update it. You have to. You also as well need a device to update it. Um, and I believe you'd be updating this board here, if I'm not mistaken. Because um, that's where the, the thing is. But, um, yeah, you got to take the whole GameCube apart. And everything. That's not to say that you wouldn't have to do that for this either, but um, yeah, it's kind of not ideal either way, right? And that's where something where where this might come in handy for a lot of people, right? Um, because this you could just plug it into your computer and update it that way. So for most people, this will actually be a good option. But um, for me, we're going to all the trouble of taking this thing apart anyway. Um, I'd rather it have an internal mod. Um, so, it's definitely between these. And another thing, too, is if it works, you don't really need to update it unless there's some feature or something you need, right? So, I think we get this, um, we get we get um, the one I have updated, you know, and kind of work with that. And that should be good. Um, so, those are my thoughts. We'll definitely install these off camera. We'll install this one off camera. We'll figure all that out. And we'll see what we end up with the final build. But, um, but yeah. Those are those are my um, thoughts on that. You know, um, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I'm still not 100 percent either way, but um, I think you. I think we all, we see. You. I'm going with probably the Pluto. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. <laughs>